All right, class. In this session, we are going to start new exercise that is 13.3, and in 13.3, we are going to discuss about the vector geometry. Now, first thing, what we are going to do in vector geometry, uh, I label it that term as path identification. And what is path identification? So let's take an example. Let's suppose we have three points A, B, and C. Right? I'm saying that vector A B is A and vector B C is B. That is given. Mr. M, Mr. M wants to travel from A to C, but the problem is that Mr. A cannot go directly because that path is not suitable to travel, right? But he needs to go from A to C. So if he cannot go from A to C directly, so what he will do, he will go from A to B and then from B to C. So ultimately the goal is to reach at C and he can do it by this way, right? That method I label as path identification. So from A to C, we can say that first he will go from A to B that is A and then from B to C that is B. So ultimately he reached the point from A to C. The arrow is very important. It says that it starts from A and heading towards point C. So we are going to opt the strategy of path identification in vector geometry. And how we are going to apply this? Let's take book first. It's question number one from the exercise 13.3. It says O A is equals to A. So I'm just highlighting the vector here from O to A. It's A. O B is B. So from O to B, that is vector B. R is the midpoint of O A. R is the midpoint. So if it's midpoint, that means this length and this length is equal, right? And O B is three times O B. So I can say that O B is equals to 3 times and OB is what? OB is B. So OP is 3 times of B. So that is the important data which we need in different part of the question but you must be highlight each and everything that if you are going to use them in a question you will have the simplified form of your data. Alright, further. AQ is lambda times AB and RQ is mu times RP find OQ in terms of lambda A and B. It is given that AQ is lambda times AB. So firstly what I will do, I will find the vector AB here. So AB is what? AB is equals to OB minus OA. We had discussed the, this rule in previous classes. OB is what? OB is given its B and OA is given its A. So you got the vector AB and it is equals to B minus A. Right? So we can find AQ which is equals to lambda times of AB and AB we have its B minus A. So you got your vector AQ. Alright? If in part A it says that find OQ, now we need to identify the path. What is actually happening? Mr. O wants to travel from O to Q. Alright, he needs to travel from O to Q, but he cannot go direct. So, what he will do? He will travel from O to A and then from A to Q. Right? The goal is he needs to travel from O to Q, but he cannot move directly. So he needs to travel from O to A and then A to Q. Now if you have a question in your mind that also he can travel from O to B and then B to Q or you can say that O to P or P to Q. If you are thinking in this way then you are absolutely right because yes, these options are also possible. But the problem is that we focus on that path which we have 
basic data available all right if i am saying that o to a so we have the vector a a to q so we have the vector a q as well but if you talking about o b and b q so o b is known but b q is unknown so you need to find b q first and if you can find b q first so you can apply this path as well all right so it totally depends on the data available that which path we are going to consider so for o q i am saying that mr a travels from o to a all right first from o to a and after that from a to q with the method of vector addition we know that if these two are same so we can add the vectors and the answer is equals to o q which we are looking for right o a is given in the question that is a and a q we had find out its lambda time b minus a is equals to o q now if you observe your equation you will have two a's first one and second one the rule to define your answer or to write your final answer is that one variable should be present only once that means we need to simplify it so it will be a plus lambda b minus lambda a is equals to o q we can write a terms together so a minus lambda a plus lambda b is equals to o q all right now from this two terms we can take a as a common here so inside the bracket it will be 1 minus lambda plus lambda b is equals to o q as you can observe that we have one a and we have one b only now there are not more than one variable of a and b so that part is your answer of o q all right i hope that it is clear to you that it is your first part answer after that in part b it says find oq all right find oq for oq i need to travel from o to b and b to q all right in terms of mu a and b when i consider the path oa plus aq so i got my answer in terms of lambda because aq we have in terms of lambda here this one if i need to find out oq but now in terms of mu that means i need to consider this path here rq all right now the given that rq is equals to mu times rp that means if we i want to find the vector rq for that purpose i need to find out the vector rp here all right now i'm going to use other condition and this is the condition i'm going to apply here and how i'm going to find that i will consider this very straight path i'm saying that o r plus r p is equals to when these two are same so the answer is o p all right or i can arrange it in this form r p is equals to o p minus o r all right i can place the value of op it's given and that is equals to 3b minus or or is what it will be a divided by 2 because the total length is a vector is a and r is the midpoint so or is a divided by 2 that is the vector r p once you got the vector of r p it means that now we can easily find out the vector of r q rq is mu times rp and rp is 3b minus a divided by 2 that is my vector rq why we had find rq because we need to find out oq right and for oq the path i am going to use now i can say that it will be or plus rq is equals to oq remember the point of vector addition is alphabetically when these two are same we can add the vector so that will be oq which we write which we have written on the right side or is what or is known that is a divided by 2 plus rq we had find out it's 3 b minus a rq is what rq is mu times rp so i am going to write this one 
आर क्यू इज म्यू टाइम्स ऑफ आर पी एंड आर पी इज वॉट इट्स थ्री पी माइनस ए डिवाइडेड बाई टू इज इक्वल्स टू ओ क्यू ना एट दिस पॉइंट अगेन वी आर ऑब्जर्विंग दैट वी हैव टू एज राइट एंड द रूल इज दैट वन वेरिएबल शुड बी प्रेजेंट वन ए शुड बी प्रेजेंट वन टाइम एंड बी शुड बी प्रेजेंट वन टाइम सो वॉट आई विल डू आई विल फर्स्ट एक्सपेंड द ब्रैकेट सो इट विल बी थ्री बी म्यू माइनस ए म्यू डिवाइडेड बाई टू इज इक्वल्स टू ओ क्यू आई विल राइट दीज टू टर्म्स ऑफ म्यू ए टूगेदर ए अपॉन टू माइनस ए म्यू अपॉन टू प्लस थ्री बी म्यू इज इक्वल्स टू ओ क्यू एंड लास्टली आई कैन टेक कॉमन हेयर सो इफ आई टेक ए कॉमन हेयर सो इन साइड द ब्रैकेट इट विल बी वन माइनस म्यू डिवाइडेड बाई टू प्लस थ्री बी म्यू इज इक्वल्स टू ओ क्यू ऑल राइट सो दैट इज माई सेकेंड पार्ट बी आंसर आफ्टर दैट find the value of lambda and of mu all right if you observe that in the first part we had find oq right in the next part we had find oq as well so if we have both side vector oq that means we can compare these two so i am saying that what i am doing is i am saying oq is equals to oq which is quite obvious as 5 equals to 5 10 equals to 10 so oq equals to oq So the first factor of OQ we had find out it's a one minus lambda plus lambda b. The second OQ is a one minus mu divided by two plus three b mu. All right. After this step, what we need to do? We are going to start with comparing coefficients. So we need to compare the coefficient of a and we need to compare the coefficient of b so let's start with a so the coefficient of a on my left side it's 1 minus lambda is equals to the coefficient of my right side it's 1 minus mu divided by 2 if i solve it so i will come up with the equation that 2 minus 2 lambda is equals to 1 minus mu If I shift it on the, uh, if I arrange it, so minus mu on the left side it will be positive mu is equals to two minus two lambda right side it will be two lambda one minus two it's minus one. So I got my first equation mu equals to two lambda minus one. Similar to a, I will compare the coefficient of b now. All right, on my left side the coefficient of b is lambda. on my right side the coefficient of b is 3 times mu all right so i got a value of lambda in terms of mu and this value of lambda i can place in first equation all right so now the equation will be mu equals to 2 lambda minus 1 that is the equation right but instead of lambda i am going to place the value of lambda which is equals to 3 mu now there is only one unknown in this equation and that is mu equals to 6 mu minus 1 mu on the right side minus mu so 6 mu minus mu it's 5 mu equals to positive 1 and you got the value of mu that is equals to 1 divided by 5 once you got the value of mu now it is very easy to find out the lambda because we have the equation of lambda just right here so lambda is what lambda is 3 times mu and mu is 1 over 5 so lambda is equals to 3 divided by 5 so these are the two final answer which you were looking for the value of mu and the value of lambda so i hope that the question is clear to you all right so you need to write down the solution in your copy and i'm just zoom it out so you can access all the question once at a time and to write down the solution in your copy you have a time of 3 minutes so start all right i hope that all of you have done it and after that moving on to the next one now you have an idea how to solve such questions right
It's question number three with the same strategy to find out the value of lambda and mu. All right. So it says OP is A, PY is 2P, and OQ is 3B. OX is lambda, OY, and QX is mu times QP. QP. Find OX in terms of lambda, A, and B. All right. So firstly, what I recommend is write down the data. Write down the data here. So all the given information we need to write down here. So we have OP is equals to A. We have P Y is equals to 2B. We have OQ is equals to 3B. We have OX is equals to lambda times OY. We have QX is equals to mu times QP. All right. So. Lambda times O Y is O X and mu times Q P. All right. For the first part, it says find O X in terms of lambda A and B. Lambda is here, so that means now we need to find out the vector O Y. All right. So if you observe in your figure, so O Y is what we need to travel from O to Y. All right. So firstly, we go from O to P, and then from P to Y. So ultimately, we have reached from O to Y. So I'm just writing it that the path O Y is what it's O P plus P Y. O P is what it's A, and P Y is what it's to be. Now I know the vector O Y. It means I know the vector O X. Which is equals to lambda times O Y and O Y is what A plus two B. That is my first part answer. For next one, part B, it says find O X in terms of mu A and B. So first, give it a try by yourself. You have a time of sixty seconds. So start. All right. At first, I need to find out the vector. Q P here, all right. Q P. So Q P it will be what? It will be O P minus O Q. All right. Vector O P is given. That is A minus O Q is given. That is three. All right. So you got your vector Q P and why we had find it so that we can use this equation to find Q X. All right. Q X is equals to mu times Q P. That is the condition, and Q P is what? It's A minus three B. Now you have the vector Q X. Why you had find Q X? Because now I can apply the path here that O Q plus Q X is equals to O X, right? O Q is what? O Q is three B. Q X is what? Q X we had find out it's mu times of a minus three b is equals to O X, which we are looking for. That is my second part answer. But if you observe that we have b here and we have b here, that means now we need to simplify. So it will be three b plus a mu minus three b mu. Equals to O X, writing mu term B terms together, so it's three B minus three B mu plus A mu equals to O X. All right, taking common B, so it will be three minus three mu plus A mu equals to O X. All right, so that is my second part answer. Now, if you observe that we have first part we had find O X, second part we had find O X. So in third part, obviously we need to find out the value of lambda and of mu. With the same approach that we have both sides the vector O X. So we need to compare these two and find out the value of lambda by comparing coefficient which we had done previous question, right? So you have a time of three minutes. Give it a try and then I will tell you the answer. So start. All right. Now the first O X we have it's lambda 
a plus 2b right and for the next one ox we have a mu plus b times 3 minus 3 mu all right on my left side if i multiply it so it's a lambda plus 2b lambda equals to a mu plus b 3 minus 3 mu I need to compare the coefficients. So firstly, I will start with a. On my left side, the coefficient of a is lambda. On my right side, the coefficient of a is mu. So it says lambda is equals to mu. Similarly, if I compare the coefficient of b, right? So on my left side, the coefficient of b is what? It's 2 lambda. And on my right side, the coefficient of b is 3 minus 3 mu. All right. Since lambda and mu are equal as we had in the previous equation, so instead of lambda, I am going to place mu here. So 2 mu equals to 3 minus 3 mu. This 3 mu, I need to shift from the right, left side. 2 mu plus 3 mu, it's 5 mu equals to 3. And you got the value of mu that is equals to 3 divided by 5. Since mu and lambda are equal, so lambda is equals to 3 over 5 as well. And this is your final answer of mu and lambda. Alright, so the questions are quite easy and I hope that you got the concept clearly and how to find the unknown by just identification of the path. Moving towards the next question. It's question number 7. It says, OA is equal to A, OB is equal to B and O is the origin. OX is lambda times OA. So I am saying that OX is equals to lambda times OA and O itself equals to A. So OX is equals to lambda A. So already we had used this condition. OY is equals to mu times OB and OB is what B. So I am saying that OY is known and that is equals to mu times B. Find bx in terms of lambda a and b. So if you observe the path of bx, right? There are many ways. You can say that from b to o, o to x, it's bx. You can say that b to a, a to x, it's bx. You can say that it's b to p, p to x, it's bx. So which path we are going to consider, it depends on the data we have. All right? So we have ox and oy. We have oa and ob as well. All right. So I can say that if I travel from O to B and then from B to X. So I am just writing the path here. It's A part 1. The path I am going to consider it will be O B plus B X leads to O X. All right. We are looking for B X here. So I am going to make B X the subject. So B X will be equals to O X minus OB. OX we had find out it's lambda time A it's just right here right minus OB is given that is equals to B so that is the first answer for BX it's lambda A minus B all right similarly for second part it says find AY all right for A to Y I can say that it's from O to A and A to Y is equals to O Y. So I am just writing the path here. O A plus A Y is equals to O Y. What we need to find? We need to find A Y here. So I will make A Y the subject. And my equation will be O Y minus O A. What is the vector O Y? O Y we had find out it's mu times b minus o a is given that is equals to a so that is my vector a y in terms of mu all right so i had done my first part after that for part b the new conditions are given it says that 5 times of b p is equals to 2 times of b x all right and also a y is equals to 4 times P Y. For my first condition, this one, right? 
this one bp5 bp is equals to 2 bx we have the vector bx right bx is what bx is lambda times a minus b so i am going to use this vector here and i will make bp the subject so bp is equals to 2 5 on the right side it will be 2 divided by 5 and bx is what it's lambda a minus b so i have used this condition here i have find out the vector b why is it so in your question b part 1 it says that op find op in terms of lambda a b o to p so o to p is ox plus xp equals to op and ob plus bp is equals to op I am going to use the second one. O B plus B P is equals to O P. We need to find O P and we have the vector B P which we had find previously. So I am going to use this. O B is what? O B is given its B. B P is what? It's 2 over 5 lambda A minus B. I need to multiply so that will be 2 over 2 lambda a over 5 minus 2 over 5 b b plus is equals to op there are two b's present so we need to gather them together so it's b minus 2 over 5 b plus 2 lambda a over 5 is equals to op all right Taking B common here, so the leftover part is 1 minus 2 over 5. In fact, we can solve it, right? 1 minus B minus 2 upon 5, taking LCM, so that will be 5B minus 2B plus 2 lambda A over 5. 5B minus 2B, it's 3 over 5B plus 2 over 5A lambda. That is my vector OP. All right. Once we had find out the vector OP, that is the first part answer. After that, we need to find out OP, but in terms of mu a and b. So that is your b part two. We need to find out OP, but in terms of mu a and b. Now we are going to use this condition here. This one, right? It says a y equals to four times p y. So in order to make p y the subject, so I can say that p y is equals to a y divided by 4 right I'll use this condition here we have the vector a y which we had find in this part right this one so a y is basically mu b minus a divided by 4 it leads to p y so I can make a path here and I can say that it's o p plus p y is equals to o y since we are looking for OP here, so I will make OP the subject and I am saying that OP is equal to OY minus PY. OY is what? We have OY in simplest form and that is equal to mu B. Alright, so OY is mu B minus PY is what? It's mu B minus A divided by 4. After that, taking LCM it will be 4 and it will be 4 times mu b minus mu b plus a leads to the answer of 3 times of mu b divided by 4 plus a divided by 4 that is my vector op and that is your second part answer all right after that we need to find out the value of lambda and of mu so we have op first part and we have op in second part so for the first part the value of op it's 2 over 5 a lambda plus 3 over 5 b and this op in terms of mu it's a divided by 4 plus 3 mu b divided by 4 we need to compare the coefficient so i'm going to start with the a so on my left side the coefficient of a it's 2 over 5 lambda and on right side the coefficient is 1 over 4 so you got the value of lambda and that will be 5 divided by 8 all right after that i need to compare b and for b the coefficient of left side it's 3 over 5 and the coefficient on right side that 
is equals to 3 divided by 4 mu. 3 and 3 cancel. So mu is what? Mu is equals to 4 divided by 5. Alright, and these two are my final answers for mu and lambda and we need to find out the same value. Alright, so you need to write down the solution in your copy and we will experience this type of questions in past paper as well. So make sure that you have clear about this type of question. So you have a time of 3 minutes noted down in your copy. So start. Alright, so I think that week is quite enough for today's class. And as your homework, you need to attempt question number 5 of the same exercise. I have mentioned that question on your screen. That is your homework question. I hope that all of you can do it because we have attempted such type of question in this session. So it's quite enough for today class. See you.